Hi, thanks for joining us today on Hope With Answers. My name is Lisa Bonanno. I'm a patient advocate. I'm super excited we're here today with Dr. David Carbone. Is it okay if I call you David? Of course, it's great Thank to be you. here. Thank you so much. Now, I have non-small cell lung cancer and I was told that my biomarker testing came back positive for the ROS1 mutation. Can you explain to us what that means? Well, nowadays we've found that lung cancers are very different from each other and everyone has different characteristics. And one of those really important characteristics is the presence of a driver mutation. There are multiple such mutations in the tumor and one of them is called ROS. Uh, and that is a, a, fortunately a feature of a cancer that we can directly target now with specific drugs that are highly effective and minimally toxic uh, for the patients. So what does that mean to have a ROS1 mutation? Well, ROS1 is a gene that's present in everybody's body and every cell and ev everyone's body. And, and the, the, but the cancer in these cases has rearranged or, or changed that gene. So it's turned on all the time when it's not supposed to be on. And that's what drives the cancer to become a cancer. And okay. so when you, refer to a patient whose tumor has a ROS1 fusion, that just means that that cancer has abnormally turned on that gene. And when we target ROS1, we turn it back off. Oh, great. So is that something I need to worry about passing on to my children? It is a genetic abnormality, but it's different from other types of genetic abnormality in that this damaged gene only exists in your tumor. Okay. And it's not in the rest of your body and it's not passed on to your children. Great. So you don't have, you have enough to worry about right. with lung cancer. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Great. Well, thank you so much for that great explanation. And thank you for joining us for Hope With Answers.